in the last video, we talked about a general scheme about what goes on with eukaryotic transcription in terms of enhancer involvement. Here, I want to talk about cyclic AMP as a specific regulator of gene expression. So we imagine this DNA strand here with the Tata box and star site here at the promoter, and RNA polymerase 2's basal complex preparing to bind that promoter. Now, to be clear, I want to mention that this basal complex, of course, includes the RNA polymerase 2, and then any basal transcription factors associated with it. Just for the sake of simplicity, I'm not going to go in and draw all those transcription factors. So now, this enhancer over here is labeled as CRE. Now, CRE is a specific enhancer. It stands for cyclic AMP response element. So that cyclic AMP response element is a specific enhancer. Now, initially, this RNA polymerase won't bind very effectively to the promoter. So it needs to be enhanced. So if it won't bind the promoter effectively, that means no transcription. So if this specific transcription factor here, CREB, binds the enhancer, then maybe we can get transcription to go. So CREB stands for CRE binding protein. So it binds to the cyclic AMP response element. Okay. So this CREB is a specific transcription factor, and it binds the CRE, the cyclic AMP response element, which is the specific enhancer. Now when there's an increase in cyclic AMP in the cell, cyclic AMP activates, that's what this little green plus sign here represents, it activates cyclic AMP dependent protein kinases, specifically protein kinase A. Now these protein kinases, they add phosphates to proteins. So this protein kinase A, when it's active, it's going to phosphorylate CREB. And when that happens, we get the DNA to loop around, as we have seen before. Now once it loops around, the CREB now has a phosphate group attached to it, and that CREB is bound to the cyclic, or the cyclic AMP response element, which is the specific enhancer. Now this brown portion here represents the basal complex attached to the promoter. Now there is this protein in between the CREB and the RNA polymerase complex. That is CBP. Now CBP, that stands for Kreb binding protein. And what it is, is it's a coactivator, or otherwise known as a mediator. So what happens here is it mediates the response, it sort of connects the enhancer to the promoter in the sense of via these protein-protein interactions. Now when that happens, it allows the RNA polymerase to bind and bind effectively, and then we have transcription. This is of course enhanced, because initially it couldn't bind effectively. Okay. So now, this basically all happened because this cyclic AMP increase. If the cyclic AMP increase did not, if the cyclic AMP increase did not happen, then CREB wouldn't have this phosphate group attached to it, and the transcription wouldn't have been enhanced. But where did the cyclic AMP come from? Well, it probably came from because of an extracellular signal. So we talked about how you know certain cases when we had G protein coupled receptors that increased the concentration of cyclic AMP through adenylate cyclase, that increased cyclic AMP was because of some hormone binding event. So if this extracellular signal called caused uh, an increase in cyclic AMP, this is how an extracellular signal can cause you know an, a change in transcription. This just affected transcription. So certain extracellular signals trigger their responses by altering transcription. So that's pretty gnarly, I think. I hope that video was helpful. One last thing, I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at mufuniversity at gmail.com. See the description below for more details. Thank you for watching.